What's up, it's Nerds? It's Mel. And it's Greg. And MAG Vintage is back today bringing y'all another video. Now, today's video, we got another one from Zane Hajazi. It's called the Boom Verified Genius Parody. <laughs> well, we know he's funny, so we're just going to see where this one goes because we know that he's crazy and his mind is crazy. So let's just see where he goes with this one. Right. But before we get to the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Let's like. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Down there. Let's go ahead and get to the video. You know what? I'm honestly surprised you guys didn't reach out to me and my team sooner. I came out with a song five months ago. He's ignorant. <laughs> a song. It's a story. It's a book. It's a novel. It's a positive epidemic. <laughs> you got me feeling like an animal, babe. <laughs> Can't control myself. Why would I want to? You see this creature right here? This is an animal. It can't control himself because Babe is holding him. It's this Babe has got me it's this Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> she what she wants. You know, she puts on the right signal and then she fucking goes left. And I, and I, she's not giving me what <laughs> is clear to me. You know what I mean? Your little dirty secret <laughs> safe with me. Your little dirty secret safe. sounds like he's from the UK when he's saying. Girl, if you want to. We all have dirty little secrets. <laughs> but I, I have a little dirty secret. And you know what that little dirty secret is? What? I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> <laughs> the drive far away till it's just you and me. I hold you so close, never let go. I know it's so cliche to say that, like, you yeah. just want to escape LA, escape the city. I like to drive far away till it's just me and her because I want to only look at her. I only want her presence in my vicinity at certain times. So we're driving far into the desert. He Just said at certain times. Me, referring to her. And she starts questioning. Why is there a shovel in the backseat? Why is there a rope? Why is there tape? And I tell her. It's be a murder. Treasure hunting. <laughs> Chill. And you know, she's the one. Treasure I want to hold her close and I never want to let her go. You know why? Because we're about to capture some butterflies, which is going to be in the next verse. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you and I were dancing in the moonlight. The hell? I think I love you. But a fly, we catch all the butterflies. The caterpillar, but um, it couldn't fit in the song. It just <laughs> what? Butterflies works. It all comes together. If you're an artist, you would understand where I'm coming from. It's it takes talent, which a lot of people don't have. It's very important that I'm self aware of myself <laughs> too. You know. So should we talk about the moonlight? No, it's too personal. I can't get. So here comes the most important part of the song. Really, the, the crescendo, the climax, the culmination, the peak, the apex, the turning point, the turning of the tide, the orgasm. Ooh. Who knew four letters could say so much? It's more than just a word. It's it's a feeling. It's an onomatopoeia. You don't only feel it. Like onomatopoeia. onomatopoeia. What? It's your surroundings. I've heard this in school. Just everything. Boom. So what's next? Is there a boom after life or life after boom? Boom two? Boom, boom. Who knows? Still writing it. I feel like you, you're not understanding what I'm this saying. This fool's crazy. Boom. It's very self-explanatory. Just remember, I didn't ask to be on here. You invited me. <laughs> <laughs> what? And why does he have them bobbing pins on the <laughs> What the hell is he doing? Like, I, he, so he's basically like breaking down like the lyrics in his song? Because you know they really have a, the thing where they really do that and they ask the people about the lyrics. I'm guessing they haven't asked him about her song. So he did one for himself. I guess what is, what is it like? Um, what is it like unsung? Yeah, unsung Zane. That's what I'm, I'm guessing he did it for himself because they didn't ask him to do a verify, so he verified himself. Okay, like, another thing too. Why does he sing all his lyrics in like a UK accent? We're catching all the butterflies. 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 I don't know why he said like he literally turns into a UK person yeah. when he says his lyrics. I don't know. That that's, don't know. that should be something that should be asked. You notice I do that sometimes too? What? Like when I'm around the house, like I just start talking like a different person. Like <laughs> I just I don't know what it is. I don't know if I turned into like an Englishman all of a sudden. No, or it's not just like, an Englishman. He can mark people's accents. And that's true. in his head, I don't know where he came up with this thing. He feels like if he talks to people the way they talk to him, they can understand him better. 
It's true. It's true. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that because I call him and say it's some bull. <laughs> that is some bull. They can understand. They can understand you better when you're speaking in their native tongue too, like the way they say the words. And it ain't they native tongue. No. <laughs> I guess it's just broken English, so I'm talking broken English too. Y'all so. tell me, do you know anybody that do that? Like, you literally don't mean to do it, but you literally mark their accent because you think they can understand better, or do you think it's some bull? <laughs> let us know in the comment section. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> hey, but we reached today's uh, video, the end of today's video. Let us know what y'all think about it. Remember to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. And see you next time. We out.